In 2018, our team received intelligence that an individual was using a live eagle owl decoy on a notorious driven grouse moor in the Yorkshire Dales National Park. In 2019, our field team investigated the area and caught a suspect on camera. There was a large eagle owl raised on a stone structure and a male in camouflage with a firearm in waiting. Live decoys are used to draw in birds to be killed and irrespective of the species used are illegal. This is a known technique used by raptor killers on driven grouse moors. You can see the large eagle owl flapping around and is dragged rough handled back into a confined box on the back of an all-terrain vehicle. Top avian predators like eagles or eagle owls are classified as super predators as they predate nestlings and adults of other raptor or predatory species. This makes eagle owls highly susceptible to be mobbed by other raptors. A suspect using an eagle owl to draw raptors in far and wide will enable them to kill raptors again and again. Unfortunately, it wasn't possible to identify the person in the film. We continue to observe them all to get better evidential material. In 2020, we returned and filmed something truly shocking. In the following clip, we are concealed on the hill, watching the suspect. You can just about make out the eagle owl, which is again tethered to an exposed position, this time a post. The suspect was sat nearby, was camouflaged, but, and was with a firearm. Howard, yeah. there's a bu two buzzards over that way now. Oh, he just shot one. He shot one. He shot one, Howard. He shot one. Howard, he's moving. He shot a buzzard. The buzzard's grounded. The buzzard's grounded. He shot a buzzard. Yep. Yeah, it shot it. Shot it, straight it, straight Yeah, saw it fall down. Straight in front of the beacon. Oh my god. Within the time frame, the eagle owl was tethered to that post. I personally witnessed two buzzards being killed. The second buzzard, a pale bird, fell like a dead weight straight in front of the tethered eagle owl. Now at this point, the suspect walked from the shooting position to the eagle owl tethered on the post. The bird was suspended, flapping and terrified. The suspect replaced the bird onto the post, walked back to the shooting position to continue with the killing. I witnessed a third bird shot at, but the bird was too high. After witnessing this crime and frustrated at the distance we observed this person, we worked tirelessly, day and night, to obtain more evidence to identify the person responsible. Our evidence was then passed on to North Yorkshire Police. Hello, it's Inspector Hagen from North Yorkshire Police. Last year we had reported to us an individual who was shooting buzzards. We investigated this report. We took out a search warrant and searched some premises and interviewed an individual under caution. Unfortunately, this case did not meet the evidential threshold to be able to prosecute and take this case to court. We could not prove beyond a reasonable doubt who that individual was, so that case will not be progressing. Now that does not mean that this incident did not happen. The facts are that a gamekeeper on a grouse moor in North Yorkshire has been shooting buzzards. They used a live eagle owl as a decoy to draw buzzards into a location where they were shot. Now I urge members of the public if they see anything like this, please report it to the police. As the lockdown restrictions start to be released and again you are allowed out into the countryside, please be our eyes and be our ears and report any raptor persecution to the police. Thank you. It's very clear that raptor persecution is still happening on a daily basis on driven grouse moors in the Yorkshire Dales National Park, crazily close to popular tourist destinations and walks. The RSPB is urging the government to introduce licensing for driven grouse moors in England, as is happening in Scotland. If licensing had been in effect, then the evidence gathered could have led to the estate losing the license to operate.
As it stands, the criminals are repeatedly getting away with it, and again, there's no justice for birds of prey. We also call on the shooting community to come forward if you know of anyone using an eagle owl in this method.